I am getting here on Facebook Live because this is what I'm seeing and I have to stop you guys right now. Uh, you guys know me, I'm Regina Callion. I am your NCLEX instructor with Remar Review. And my goal for 2018 is to help 10,000 nurses, nursing students, pass their NCLEX. Yes, that's what I'm gonna do. But I have to stop you guys because you are studying with my products. You have the quick facts or you need to still have quick facts. You have the products, you're watching my YouTube videos and you're sabotaging your study sessions. When you sit down to study, you're doing it totally wrong. So I have to stop you guys right now. So this is your study plan, okay? This is how you guys have been studying. I'm tearing it up. I don't want you guys to study like that anymore. Let me tell you the things that you guys are doing that is sabotaging your studying, making it so much harder for you. All right, so the first thing, I'm gonna just give you five things and then I'm out, okay? The first thing is that when you study, when you study, you don't get off to a good start. When you study, you don't get off to a good start. Does anybody know how long it takes for your brain to program to a new activity? So for example, if you were grocery shopping and you came home to sit down and study, how long does it take your brain to adjust to say, okay, it's time for me to study. Does anybody know? <laughs> it takes your brain eight minutes. So in that first eight minutes, it is so tough when you sit down and study because you will find yourself really struggling to focus. And this is a time where all the distractions come in. Like you sit down and say, okay, I'm gonna study. And then two minutes later, what are you? You're daydreaming, right? Or you're all of a sudden hungry. So really my first tip, that first eight minutes, you guys have to sit down and say, I'm committed to this. The second thing that uh, students do that sabotage their study habits, their studying effectiveness, is that they have their cell phone out. If you sit down and your cell phone is out, you already, you're already off to a bad start because that cell phone is like the biggest time in vampire. It will literally take up time. Like, you're sitting down to study and you get a notification that I'm on live. Or you're sitting down studying and somebody will call you. So what you need to do, put your phone away. Um, oh, this one is so good. This one is so good. The third thing that we do to sabotage our studying is that we force ourselves to study when we know we're tired. Forcing yourself to study when you know you're tired is like going uphill, um, in the snow <laughs> with very slippery shoes on okay it's like an uphill battle you cannot focus you cannot retain when you're tired and i know you guys are working i know you guys are trying to find time to study you know after you put the kids in bed but when you're tired just say I, i'm not going to do it don't do it to yourself Give yourself permission to be tired and give yourself permission to say, when I sit down to study, I'm coming to study uh, in my best possible way. <laughs> All right. Um, and then the last, no, not the last. Number four, we sabotage our studying when we study and eat at the same time. When you study and you eat at the same time, it is a distraction, it is a delay. And you don't even think about it because we do a lot of things, especially as nurses, we multitask all the time. So we think, yeah, I can sit down and study and I can eat, um, but you cannot. The brain, your brain has a hard time focusing on doing uh, multiple things. So you may think that this is something that you do. Another thing too I want to add, people, sometimes people, they eat while they study or they listen to music while they study and they think, oh, that really helps me. No, it doesn't. It's a distraction and it takes, um, it takes your focus away from the material. So don't eat and study at the same time. Really just study, okay? And number five, the fifth thing that we do uh, that sabotages our studying. And I don't know if this is everybody, but I know this is somebody. Somebody's an offender of this, and it is they take notes on the computer. They take notes on a computer. And literally, I mean like typing out their notes on a laptop. So 
the end result is that you have these nice neat notes you have these nice neat notes but research shows that when you type something out you don't focus on it as much as when you have to write it out and your brain has to process what's important so you can literally be tap 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 typing information and you're really not taking it in you're just uh, replacing it from the book to your laptop so writing things out actually helps you to remember it and to retain it so don't be afraid to make those flashcards by hand or uh, get your notebook and get your notes out uh, these are all things that I don't want you to do anymore I don't want you to do anymore you guys are going to be phenomenal nurses you guys are going to be fantastic nurses but first we have to get through our nursing classes <laughs> and we have to pass our state boards so uh, Remar nurses I hope you enjoy studying with me because I really like studying with you guys and I will be doing that more often here so make sure you like the Facebook page so that when I come on live you guys are able to study with me so five things that we will not be doing anymore to sabotage our studying session. Thank you guys for watching this video. Hey everybody, uh, all my Remar nurses, thank you so much for encouraging each other. We have some people that are testing soon, so we are all praying for you uh, to pass your exam. Uh, the Remar community is right behind you. Email me, you guys can always email me, support at remarreview.com if you have any questions or comments and share this video five things we will not do to sabotage our studying sessions bye bye